85, Halsey Junior High School, because I was a kid there. I went to school there. I went to 106 over here on Putnam and uh, Wilson. Yeah. In fact, I had the crossing guard post. I was the lieutenant of the safety patrol. Uh, my name is Ron Caratu. I'm a captain in the New York City Fire Department, and I'm assigned to Ladder Company 112, which covers pretty much Bushwick and Bedford-Stuyvesant now. Scott, Department Phone. Scott, Department Phone. In those years, you knew you were going to a fire, or two, or three. It was not unusual to turn a corner and see fire out every window. There come a time in the late 70s, you could see for blocks because there was nothing left but vacant lots. We would go to a house three or four times in the same week because that was the tip to the people that wouldn't get out that they were going to burn this house out. And so they would call in a false alarm. We would go to the house and of course there'd be no fire. But after two or three times, the residents knew that one night there would be a fire. And what would happen is someone would come there with a gallon of gasoline, pour it down the stairs and light the stairs up and leave. And people were just all over the place, trapped. After the blackout in 77, the blackout, what a time that was. Now, let me tell you, I was home. It started on a Thursday night. We pulled up to fires and we were told 1075, and the dispatcher would say, we don't have anybody. You're all that's there. Do the best you can. I can remember on Broadway between Gates and Linden and Gates to Palmetto, and you saw two plumes of tremendous black smoke, and the only company around was 112. You could see it for miles. And that was like the death knell for Bushwick. It really was. The 70s was a great time to be in the fire department. Unless you were there to see it, it would be hard to, uh, to believe. And like, if you're really a fireman, you want to put out fires. Sometimes when I tell these young guys that come on the job now about our nights and days in, in old Bushwick in the 70s, I think they kind of walk away from you thinking, boy, this guy can tell some stories, you know? Well, it's true, there's stories to be told. And they're all true. Hey, you old man, you want to go home?